Yo, what is we guys? This is Liz on here, and welcome back to another video. In this, guys, we're playing a game. We're actually doing a bit of a comparison. Now, we're going to be doing a comparison of Fraps versus Shadowplay. Now, Shadowplay is a newer software where not many people have heard of it, and the people who have heard of it, not everyone can get it because to shadow to get Shadowplay, you actually need a Nvidia graphics card. One of the later ones, I think most of them are supported with it. But not all of them, I definitely know they're not all of them. So you have a pretty new NVIDIA graphics card. Uh, then you should have this program on your computer called NVIDIA GeForce Experience. It comes with the drivers. And if you have it installed and you've got a NVIDIA graphics card, try downloading it from the website. It should all be fine, everything. But uh, yeah, it's it's not really about how to download the software because I'm not really that sure how to download it. This is going to be a comparison of Shadowplay versus Fraps. Now, in this video, we're going to be taking into actual uh, view. The amount of FPS I get in the games using both of the recorders, the quality as well as the video video quality, the visual quality as well as the audio quality. Now I mentioned audio quality as it's very key because you'll see later on, especially with my microphone, Shadowplay doesn't handle it at all well and you'll see that later on. But yeah, let's firstly hop into a world. So for both of them, we're going to start off with Minecraft, we'll make an amplified world for both of them so we're just going to hop in here and this i'm recording with fraps so as you can see the audio with fraps is me with my blue yeti and then obviously you can see the visual quality which you can see here now you visual quality with youtube is a bit shite so it probably doesn't look the best anyway but that's just youtube they're a bit they're a bit crippled you know the the, the files you record and the files you see on youtube are a completely different things but yeah we're gonna be creating an amplified world and we're gonna be showing off our FPS so okay so we're in creative mode we've amplified world we can create this new world now I'll press F3 as soon as I get in loading world okay we are in our new world as you see 90 FPS 180 179 180 FPS 100 okay so staying around 180 uh, we just got into this amplified world oh bit lag there bit lag getting a bit lag 18 FPS Loading in this lovely amplified world, as you can see, fly around here, very, very sexy. Now, we've got all the way up to 240 then, 270, getting our way to uh, 300, I think. Yeah, 240 is what I usually record at, I believe. Like, I record at 60, but that's what I usually get when I'm playing Minecraft. Now, these are my video settings. Now, think of them what you will. I am using Optifine just because I don't need it for FPS-wise, but I just love control, like I'm addicted to it. Whatever computer I'll ever have, I'll always play with 10. I love 10. It's it's the best render distance. But just for sake of people being like, oh, you're not playing in full. So this is far. This is without Optifine. This is max you can go. And as you can see, we're getting 240 FPS. Seems pretty legit. Pretty legit. Quality seems to be right. Yeah. Okay. And we are back. So the first thing you can probably notice is that Shadow Play is literally the worst for my microphone. Of recording my audio so I sound weird you know haven't moved my mic haven't positioned it haven't changed any settings in it I've literally just pressed record and shadow play and this is the settings we're getting now you're probably thinking oh you can probably edit your settings a little bit in shadow play you can't at all all you can do is select add microphone and add game sounds now here we are so judge of it what you will what I would recommend if you want to use shadow play I would recommend using a third party uh, like recorder or audacity or something it's free you can get that online and that would record your audio and then you can go ahead and sync them up in video editing but yeah let's hop into the world and you'll probably notice a slight difference when you're with this now shadow play i haven't used recording recently just because uh, i know how bad my uh, voice sounds when i'm using shadow play but I uh, might do in the future for more like heavy games, which you need more FPS on. Because as you can see, Shadow Play does handle this a lot better. Now, what you're probably noticing is, as you see, at the bottom and the top, you can actually see my screen. Now, the reason for that, Shadow Play does not support Minecraft at the moment. I don't think that, you know, they might add it. But I know NVIDIA are a bit like... I know a lot of high-end gaming things are a bit anti-Minecraft, just because they see it as such an easy, you know, playable game to run. But you know, no, you know, no, I don't think that, no, no. <laughs> so yeah, they haven't added Minecraft into it yet. I don't know if it's just because they don't want to or because they don't know how. But yeah, the way to record Minecraft in full screen now is you have to press F11. So as you can see, we're now on full screen Minecraft. So uh, this is how you have to play if you want to record Minecraft with uh, the top and the bottom. So yeah, it's all right. And I suppose it's kind of cool as while you're recording, you know, you can just hop over and get some, I don't know, whatever you want like that. Pretty cool, pretty cool actually. But uh, yeah. 
that's the way it is at the moment. I don't know if they improve that in the future. But yeah, let's hop into F3. I'm actually just going to create a new one because I realised like I was rambling on and not pressing F3 at all. Uh, what are we doing? Creative, uh, amplified. Great. Right, so I'll press F3 straight away like I did last time. And let's see our FPS. Okay, so as you can see, we were on 1,500 then for a second. We're on 500 now. We're on 300. We're on 402. We're on 450. As you can see, we're on the settings we left on 16 render distance far. Uh, 500. 530. No, sorry. 430. 500 now. 495. As you can see, the FPS is very good. Now, I just like to point out, we are on a complete water wolf, so that's probably helping our FPS quite a bit. So it doesn't really make this much of a fair test. But yeah, let's see if we can find some land loading. Yeah, we're loading a bit of land over here because it doesn't seem very fair when we're just loading in water as our water isn't very laggy. Or at least not in Minecraft because it's like, what is that? <laughs> it's amazing, it's the same texture on every every block. So as you can see, loading in some chunks here. These are brand new chunks because we want to load them in from over there. Seems alright, you know, 400 FPS, 450 run. 400 we're on, 428, 300, drop down to 300, as you can see we're handling this very well, what are you doing? <laughs> I thought that was like a black and white sheet, and I was like what? And they're like glitching out as well, jeez, so you see we're handling this very very well indeed. And we are back, so now we're playing Minecraft but with shaders, and a shader is a very heavy uh, mod which you can add to the game, but it makes it look as smexy as can be. So here we are back in another amplified world and let's check our FPS. So as you can see we're getting 170, 162, 120. This is with shaders and recording at 60 FPS. As you can see very very nice shaders is absolutely lovely. But the test isn't about how shaders look. It's about how much FPS I'm getting. So as you can see I'm getting 60 now. We haven't dropped below 60 yet. Seems pretty good, we've gone up to 108, 121, and uh, obviously this is amplified as well, and we are creating new chunks, and amplified do take a lot of FPS to uh, load new chunks, just because they look so fancy, like in, in crazy, crazy structures going on here. But as you can see, I'll fly around a little bit, and you can see our general FPS, you know, drop down to 60 there, getting uh, pretty good FPS, our, our settings are still on 10 uh, I have them on 10 with shaders just because if I put them on 16 we get slightly less FPS but we'll put them on 16 quickly just so you can see what we get with uh, 16 FPS and with shaders getting 170 now which chunks are loading in 113 dropping a little bit here but you can see very looks very fancy <gasps> we're gonna mace the bar and that was a pretty pretty good uh, pretty good seed here anyone wants a seed with uh, amplified as you can see it's right there if you can't see that then uh, that's your problem <laughs> Uh, but yeah, very, very cool, very cool. I really like when you see maces in Amplified, they look absolutely crazy. I don't know if this would be that fun to mine out though, because it's kind of crazy, I suppose you can mine out that bit, couldn't you? But yeah, right, I'll hop over to Shadow Play quickly. So, uh, this is the bit of recording where it turns out Shadow Play hadn't had my microphone selected. So basically, I was recording in-game sounds, but I had my microphone turned off at that point uh, from Shadowplay because basically I was going to record a mini game because like, these were recorded on two separate days, and I was going to record a mini game to upload to my channel, and I recorded it with Shadowplay and Frap, uh, not Frap, sorry, with uh, Shadowplay and Shaders, and I was going to record my voice with Audacity, and that's why it was turned off on Shadowplay. So, but yeah, I'm, I'm sorry for that. But you heard uh, the Shadowplay like audio before me speaking before, so you can know how how different it is with my microphone. So now I've got to think of stuff to say for the next, like, 30 seconds. <laughs> okay, so this is a desert, and uh, it's very majestic. The shaders is flimming around on it. Flimming? Flimming around? Is that a word? It's flimmering. Glimmering. Or flimmering. <laughs> I have no idea. Well, right, we'll just stop the video here. Okay, so we are back. Back on Fraps here, so obviously you guys can hear me a little better. I know we're getting slightly less FPS here. See, we're getting around 60. Yeah, we're getting, yeah we were getting way better with uh, Shadow Blade. I just remember at the start, it's probably because I was a bit in the water that I was getting like a bit more FPS with Fraps. But uh, yes. Anyway, so the rules you can now see on the screen. So I'm going to be putting the lowest FPS we got on uh, Minecraft without shaders recording with Fraps. And then you can go ahead and see how much we got the lowest with sh uh, shadow play, as well as the highest and the average with shadow play, and the highest and the average with fraps. 
Now, this is like my first benchmarky thing, so I don't really know how I did or how bad it was or whatever. I know a lot of benchmarks are basically just numbers on the screen with like graphy things, but I wanted to show you guys like a little bit of gameplay, make it a little bit more exciting than just seeing a load of graphs. I know graphs are probably more easy to read, but you can actually see how this kind of like reforms and the FPS difference in the gameplay, which will probably like feel as better, maybe. I don't know. It's easy. It's up to you. But yeah, so now you can see all the results, you can take into conclusion that Shadowplay is way better for recording. So I don't know if, you, if you've got a, a low-end uh, NVIDIA graphics card and you want to record some gameplay of maybe Minecraft or heavier games and you know your system doesn't record it that well uh, with fraps, then maybe you can try Shadowplay out and see if you get any better FPS and that kind of stuff. But you've got to take into mind you probably want Audacity running because unless it's just my microphone which is glitched out, glitched out with Shadowplay and of course by the time you've got Shadowplay this may be fixed but I sound absolutely terrible with Shadowplay at the moment and I don't think it's my microphone like my microphone's a Blue Yeti I don't, I don't know if it maybe it's just a driver with my microphone or maybe it's just my type of microphone that it's currently not working the best with at the moment but yeah that, that's just the way it is. So, for the moment time, I'm going to be continuing to use Fraps while I'm recording Minecraft. When I'm recording Minecraft with shaders and recording heavy games such as Battlefield 3 or Counter-Strike. Well, Counter-Strike isn't really heavy, but heavier games. I'm going to be using now using Shadowplay to record. And I'm going to be using Audacity to record my voice. And then uh, when, when playing low-end games like Minecraft and stuff, I'll just use Fraps. Because my computer can handle recording with Fraps. And it's way easier having the audio track with the video track already together instead of you having to do it together in an editing software and syncing it all up. But yeah, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd be sure to leave a like and you can definitely check out uh, Fraps. I'll leave a link to the website in the description as well as a Shadowplay website if they have one. <laughs> I'll leave a link to NVIDIA. You can look at NVIDIA and see if you want to buy a graphics card and get Shadowplay with it. But yeah, this is Shrugger HD. No, it wasn't. Fuck me. <laughs> oh, I just changed my name. This was Liaison here, and I'm still in the habit though of saying Trogus HD. It's probably because I've said it like so much. But yeah, this is Liaison here, and goodbye for now.